Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we'll be learning about volume. Now this is, this can kind of go with my surface area video so if you want to watch that make sure you watch it before this one and it's been almost a month of my YouTube channel so thank you guys so much for all the support. So yeah without further ado let's just head on straight into this video. So volume is three dimensional. And three dimensional means we're gonna be multiplying three terms. So in this, as you can see, we have three different sides, three different kinds of sides. So we have the length, we have the width, and then we also have something else that we haven't used that much, but it's height. Now, the height, so let's take let's take two of the face, the two faces. So let's say it's the front and the back. The height is Imagine if you pulled that face. So let's say you have a rectangle. Imagine you pulled it. How much you pulled it is the height. So now you know which would be the height and which would be the length and the width. Because sometimes when we're doing triangular prisms, it might be a little bit hard to notice what is the height, but this trick will teach you what the height is what the height actually is in a prism like this. So in order to find the volume, you're gonna be multiplying all those three numbers together. So it would the equation is width times length times height. So for short, you can just write W times L times H is equal to V. Now using this formula, we can solve any equation like this. So like a volume equation. So let's say we have a solid, like a rectangular prism like this. Let's say it's three, nine, and 10. In this case, the, the height is 10. We know the equation is width times length times height. And if we plug in all of it, it will be three times nine times 10. And that will be 27 times 10, which is 270. So all you need to do is find out the, the length, the width, and the height, and then you can go ahead and find the volume. So now we're gonna do an example with a triangular prism. So that means find differentiating the height versus the width times the length and length is more important. So remember the height is the two faces and stretched out. So in this case, it's a triangle. So we know the triangle is being stretched out. So we know the length or the the height is 10. But now there's a different equation for triangular prisms because a triangle is just half of a square. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either divide everything by two, which means you'll get 60, as you can see after I filled it in, or there's another way that, but will, it will give you the same answer. You're gonna find the area of the the bay or the the like face that's being stretched out and multiply that by the height. So you get the same answer, but there are two ways. And for a rectangular prism, it's a little bit different. So let's say we have two, 20, and five. So we know in this case that height is five. And honestly, you just need to fill everything in and identify the differences between the heights, the lengths, and the widths. And then for this equation, you should get 200. Now let's go ahead and do another triangular prism. So let's say it's five, 12, and for the, and then 50. So we know that the height is 50. And if we fill in the equation, we have two different equations to choose from. I chose the second one. We're gonna go ahead and fill everything in. Five times 12 divided by two times 50. And we know it's 50 because the triangle is being stretched out 50 units. And we can simplify this and we will get 30 times 50. And here's a neat trick I wanted to show you. It's not really relevant, but I hope you Enjoy. you basically just put the zero off to the side and bring it down and you'll still get the same thing anyways so for this problem it's 1500 because when we plug everything in 
it will be that. And even if we use the second equation, it would still be like that. Now you guys are gonna do a practice problem all by yourselves. I want you to find the volume of both of these um, prisms. I'm writing the units and make sure to remember to differentiate all the different the differences between the lengths and the heights and the widths. So you will have one minute to solve both of these. Did you do it? Let's check. So we are going to start with the cube because it's simpler and the equation is the same. So we have length times width times height and is equal to the volume. So in this case, the length and the height and the width are all the same because it's a cube. So we get three times three times three, and if you ha which is equal to three cubed. Go watch my video about exponents if you wanna learn more about that. And if we break this down, well, how I taught you guys in my exponents video, we get 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. So we know the volume of this cube is 27. Now we're going to go ahead and do the triangular prism, which is going to require a different equation. That's width, width times length divided by 2 times the height. And if we plug everything in, we're going to use this equation. You could have used the other one. You would still get the same answer. So 5 times 12, we'll go ahead, those are the length and the um, width, because we know that 20 is how, how many units the, that triangle is being stretched. So here I'm just showing you, that, you how to solve it and how I got the answer and what your answer should be. So it, you will get 30 times 20, which is the length or the height, which is 600. Congrats, you made it to the end of this video. Whether it's you needed help with this concept, you wanted some extra practice, or you just wanted to review, I hope you learned something or got some extra practice in. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give, me, give it a thumbs down, it just tells me if I need to improve on anything. And if you have any suggestions for any of my videos, go ahead and leave a comment on my discussion page. And I've shown how to navigate on those in my previous videos, so go watch those if you are having trouble. Bye!